Let's face it, hockey is a painful sport. And I don't just mean when the team loses a game. I mean, every fall and every hit causes pain. Let's talk to a neurologist to get the 411 on why we feel pain. Typically, pain tells us that we are in a situation that can cause us injury. Pain is not just a sensation, it's also a learned experience. These experiences help us learn how to avoid injury. Some people seem to only learn when there is pain involved. A girl named Wanda had to teach my heart twice in high school. Look at me now, Wanda. So how do blues players actually feel pain when they get slammed into the boards? Getting slammed into the boards hurts. You might ask, why does it hurt? Well, because your body has a number of nerves that are transmitting information to your brain about that impact. That information is carried by specialized nerve endings and specialized nerves to the spinal cord and then up to the brainstem. In the brainstem, that information is going to be modulated and then distributed to the areas of the brain that allow the player to decide how he needs to respond. So our nerves are like an information superhighway for pain, an internet of nerves. Do nerves signal different kinds of pain? When a hockey player is being thrown against the boards, the player is integrating information in a way that allows him to judge whether or not what has just happened is dangerous to him or not. It's up to that player to be able to use the information to avoid getting hurt further, but then also recognizing that in the spirit of competition, he has to be able to battle through some of those uncomfortable sensations. Uncomfortable sensation? Sounds like a Isley Brother B-side. Uncomfortable sensation. After one hit, I would never leave the bench. How do they keep playing through the pain? The reason why blues players can play through pain and a lot of discomfort is because they've trained themselves to be able to, one, prevent injury in the course of playing the game, but also their bodies have become accustomed to the stresses and strains that the game exerts on them. We all can get conditioned to deal with increasing amounts of discomfort if we know what to expect and know how to protect ourselves in the process of accomplishing that particular task. The blues player knows how to be able to protect his body when he's being slammed against the boards or falls on the ice in a way that a non-player wouldn't know how to do. What about when the player is injured but keeps playing through the pain? Is there a delay in feeling the pain or are they able to suppress it in some way? The information that your nerves are sending to your brain is modulated in a very powerful way by the brain itself. In the course of a hockey game, a blues player may sustain some types of injuries, such as small cuts and bruises, which if he were just sitting there, he would say, wow, that hurts. However, the excitement of the game will cause the brain to release a whole number of neurotransmitters, including endorphins and cannabinoids, which will actually downmodulate pain pathways and keep that player from feeling painful stimuli. This is part of the explanation for why a player is able to battle through the pain that might be associated with a very hard-fought game. I'm sorry, did you say cannabinoids? That sounds like a new cryptocurrency. I don't think you can pay me enough to take those hits night after night. Do hockey players just enjoy pain? If someone asks us, do you want to get thrown against the boards by a 220 pound, six foot three hockey player racing at you at 20 miles an hour, I would say no way. Because the impact of being thrown against the boards for ourselves may be loaded with potential fear of harm. However, for the player, this is an exciting portion of the game, which tells us that pain itself and sensation itself is a very complex neurologic phenomena. Sensations that I might perceive as being dangerous or harmful, I will try to avoid. But there's some sensations in the right context. For example, for a blues player in the midst of a game, he will interpret that as an opportunity to have a good time. I didn't hear anything in that response that sounded like a good time to me. We know the same. No pain, no gain. But now we know a little more about what our blues players endure on their road to the championship. And that's the science of blues hockey.